trying to serve God at this particular time, and Syria wanted to capture all the enemies uh, of theirs in the land. But when they start messing with Israel at this particular time, they're picking on the wrong one. Sometimes you got to tell the devil, you're picking on the wrong one this time. You're messing with the wrong one this time because you got to call on the Holy Ghost right away. Come on, somebody. You got to say, Holy Ghost, I need you. You got to be like a bird. Sometimes that word, come on, you can break bad with everybody else. How come you can't break bad with the devil? He can call you all kind of names and somebody get ready to slap you, ready to slap him back. Well, if the devil break bad with you, how come you can't break bad with him? This Syrian went down to try to capture Israel. And God said to the prophet Elosh, Elosh, tell the king of Israel, don't go that way. Why? Because the Syrian army, who don't like them, have set up an ambush. Everybody say ambush. ambush. The devil don't like you. And so everywhere you go, he's trying to set up an ambush. You know what that means? He's going to try to catch you off in God or catch you unaware. That's why you have to have an outlook connection. And they give you a fresh lookout. Because I don't know about you, but I'm always on the lookout for God. Amen? But God said to us to keep righteous and to keep holy. Amen? The Bible said watch as well as pray. Amen? If you're just watching and praying, you're in trouble. And you just praying and ain't watching, you're still in trouble. Because the enemy will slip up on you and if you're not careful, will bust you in your head. Yes, he will. Don't you be coming out of the bank counting your money and your 20s and 50s. Come on, somebody, and ain't paying attention. You're about ready to get robbed. Because the first of the month, them thugs and hood rats are ready to bust you up. Ready to take your money in your wallet. And don't think because you're a Christian, they won't buy and bother you. If you don't cover yourself in the blood, if you don't use common sense, They will stick you up. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Lord, have mercy. This man tried to set up the nation of Israel, and every time he set up, the king of Syria tried to set up an ambush. The Bible said that the word of God came to the prophet Elosh ears, and he would tell the king. And every time the king tried to set up the ambush, the nation of Israel, God, the prophet would tell them, don't go that way, it's an ambush. Well, the king of Israel didn't quite understand, so he was seeing men down there to, to be on the lookout. He said, yeah, they down there trying to set us up. Let's go back and tell the rest. We ain't going that way. Every time the captain of Syria, king of Syria, tried to set up, that the word would get back to the prophet. Well, the king of Syria got upset. He called all his noble men and captain together and said, wait a minute. Who in this room is on the nation of Israel's side? And somebody in the back said, it ain't nobody in here, but they got a prophet. His name is Elosh. And everything that you talk about in your bedchamber, God knows all about it. Oh, I didn't hear no amen on that. Everything you think God don't know about, God hears. Come on, somebody. And why I get back to the prophet and the prophet tell the king of Israel, all about your plans. And so the king got beside himself and said, go down to Dothan and fetch me that prophet. The Bible said they got all the chariots together. They rolled down with an army that was a massive army. They're going to get one little prophet. You can see the horses coming down in the chariots. Boogity, 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 boogity. Boogity, boogity, boom, boom. Let's get down there quick. For he tried to get away. He ain't going nowhere. He's sitting up there having breakfast and eating, wiping his mouth. Come on, somebody. Come on, you got to picture it in your mind. He ain't in no hurry. Where is he going to go when he got God on his side? What you in a hurry for when you got God on your side? When God give you power to overcome. The Bible said when they arrived in the morning, the servant of Elosh went out to the well with his bucket of water. Come on, somebody. Went on out with his bucket of water. When he looked up, he saw all these horses, 
and you can see the horse's nostrils breathing. The men standing up there with their bows and arrows and spears. They ready to come and capture the man of God. And he dropped his bucket and ran in the house. Eli's, come out here. We're surrounded. It's the end. We ain't going to make it. Come on, you can see the prophet. What's that? What's that you say now, Eli? Eli saying to the observer, what's that you say? We're surrounded, man. They come to kill us and to take us into bondage. The Bible said that the prophet went out, looked on the crowd. Come on, somebody. And it was a whole lot of men. Tens of thousands of men with chariots and horses to come one and get one little prophet. And then the Bible said that the prophet cast his eyes above the crowd. And there he saw a massive host of God's army that was in Canberra about. Oh, my God. And you can see the servant say, ain't you afraid? And he says, no. When you got God on your side, you don't have to be afraid. When you got God on your side, you got power in your life. You have victory over the enemy. Now, the young man, you can understand. Because some people got eyes, but they just can't see. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Look at somebody and say, you got eyes? But I hope you can see. You know why? Because it's important in the hour in which we live. The Bible said that this young man was so preoccupied. No doubt fear gripped his heart. No doubt he was worried because he was looking on the natural. But he looked at the young man and said, Lord, I pray that you open his eyes that he might see. And the Bible said when his eyes popped open, you see, his natural eyes were already open. But when God opened your spiritual eyes, come on, somebody, and you look around, you can see the young man say, oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, there ain't nothing compared to what I see. The Bible said in the heavens there were chariots of fire, and there were horsemen, and there were angels all camped about the nation of Assyria. You have finally have captured the man of God. Amen. The prophet said it is more with us than it is with them. Though the enemy come on every side and look like he got you cornered in, all you got to say, Lord, open my eyes. Let me have an outlook with a fresh lookout that you'll let me see the power of God. Now think about this for a moment. The Bible says that these men stood there and the prophet Elosh prayed to God. And he thanked God for hearing him when he prayed. And he said, Lord, smite this adversary with the power of blindness. My God. Every man that came down with a horse in a chariot, every man that came with a foot soldier with a spear and a bow and arrow, they couldn't even see out in front of them. See, God know how to control the enemy. God know how to give you victory over the enemy. All you got to do is learn to pray and hold fast to your faith because the just shall live by faith. You ain't got to worry about the enemy when he come in the corner. You All you got to do is say, Lord, by faith. I believe you who you say you are. And the Bible said God smiked them with blindness. Now, easily they could have been murdered. But this prophet says, I'm going to take you who you're looking for. Now, you say, how did they get from down in Israel to up to Samaria? Because they can't have nowhere to go but where they would live. See, the enemy can't do nothing to you. Come on, somebody. And you can give him instructions that come from God. Based on God's word, it tells me here that God's word says the just shall live by faith. I'm going to live according to God's word, and I want you to get 